Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make an overlay for your videos, for your um, streams, whatever the case may be. If we hit 600 likes, I'll actually be making a template for you guys to edit yourselves so it's easier if you don't know how to use this, um, how to do this tutorial. Also, I'll be actually making a tutorial similar to this but with free um, editing um, softwares so maybe like GIMP or Pixlr for those of you who don't actually have Photoshop um, because you can't afford it or you just don't have it. So with that being said, let's just get into the video. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go into Photoshop here, press File New and here it's going to open up the project settings and you want to select um, default pro photo size right here. Make sure it is pixels 920 by 1080 here. Uh, resolution the same, uh, color mode RGB, don't make it black and white and stuff like that, grayscale. And make sure the background constants is transparent and press OK. So the first thing I want to do here is find an image to put in the background. This is not necessary, I'm just showing you guys this uh, because pretend this is your video here. So let me just insert like a photo. Okay, pretend this is your video right here and you're watching this, pretend it's moving, okay? Um, what I want to do in the end is make an overlay um, and not block out the entire video. So um, what I want to do first is press Control R to move down the grid lines and you know stuff like that. So you can see the grid lines, so you can find the center. And so what I'm going to do here is just drag it to 33, I mean 13.333 inches and move it down as well to 7.5 inches. And now you can find the center here. And basically what you want to do is make a new layer, use this pen tool Make sure it's the pen tool, not the freeform pen tool or add anchor point tool. And you want to make your design up to the middle portion. Um, why is because um, you want to make it symmetrical. And so you can just duplicate it onto the other side and flip it. Um, it's easier that way. So I'm just going to make a cool design here. And first of all, you have to um, select shape and not path and select the fill as well. I'll make the fill black and then I'll actually make the stroke, I guess, red here. So the stroke is um, essentially the border color. And here, let me just uh, delete this for a sec. I'll just make a cool design here. Uh, let's make this black. Make this red. So maybe I want it like, let's move, just, let's make it a little bit cooler here. And you want to stop at the midpoint Maybe I want it to look like that, right? And I want to um, duplicate it onto the other side. What I can do is just press Control J. Actually, what I want to do actually now is rasterize the layer. So right click and rasterize. Now press Control J, press Control T, right click, flip horizontal. If you need to uh, pause the video to see those um, instructions, uh, those steps that I just said, um, feel free to pause it. And so here it is, right? And uh, you may not like this part right here. If you don't like it, you can just um, make a new layer, make sure the layers over those two layers that you just made and make it whatever color, and then just go over it. There you go. Um, not the best work, <laughs> but um, I guess it will do the job. Actually, I'll just like, I'll just delete that part. Just like delete that part. Um, and now you can see that it looks like that. Um, you may not like that how it goes over, so I'll just delete that part too. So it's like delete it. Okay, so you can see that. And now you can see is like that. And that looks, that's only part of the overlay, that's the top part. And here you can just type in your name and that sort of stuff. So Steven Van here, I can make it maybe Quartzo Demo. I don't know, like that. And as you can see, it's not that, um, like it, it's a bit too low. So what I can just do is merge layers. So control, 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 then press control E to merge press Control T to resize and then I can just move it up a bit like that. And now it's a little bit better. And on the sides I can add um, different text. So maybe like follow me on Instagram. 
and I can just like put it like right there. And select the one that I like. Make sure it's a PNG file so it is transparent. Um, that's not a PNG file, that's a ICO file. Let's just take, just take this one again. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't work either. So let's just find another one, I guess. Um, here, maybe this one. Please work. Please work. And any luck? Yes, luck right there. Luck center size side. Um, now you want to resize it, and you want to add your username or whatever it is that it may be. It doesn't have to be following me on Instagram, obviously. That's up to you. So can you do that? And obviously you can add um, different layer styles. So what layer styles are is basically um, maybe like a gradient overlay or maybe a, a drop shadow. That's up to you, um, personal preference, like I always say. And if you want to copy it onto the other uh, text, you can just copy and paste it there. And then also paste on this. And then you can look something like that. Um, because it's a little over that, I'm just gonna select all those layers. So here, and then I'm gonna resize it. And then now it looks a little bit better. Uh, and then maybe clear this layer stock, move it up. And there it is, that's one of the social media. And now you can also make the top now. So you can do the exact same thing or maybe a different design this time. Um, let's just say, just go on to the top here. I'm gonna select shape. I can, I guess, do this. Something like this. I don't know, it's up to you. And then I'm gonna control J here and then. Here, let me press select tool here, and then here it is. And here I can add different text, obviously. I'm just gonna merge these two and maybe like pull it down a bit. Um, you don't only have to use one color, you can do this. Um, so what you can do is make it maybe white and do like this type of thing. So it's like a two-tone type thing. And press control J, flip it. It could be something like that. I don't know. Um, it's up to you, obviously. Um, I can't dictate what you do. You can change it up. And then maybe you can add like, uh, thanks for watching or something. Just make this black. Okay, so basically that's it with the video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If it did help you out, hit that thumbs up button. If you want a template of this, hit that thumbs up button as well. Um, if we hit 600 likes, uh, I'll be actually leaving the template download in the description, as well as make a tutorial on how you can do this for free without Photoshop. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.